2020, it's February the 22nd, it's about 10 to 7 on my watch and we are here at Quintana again today um, doing the Reck and Kazakh uh, at spring low tide and uh, it is wind still, there's not a breeze blowing, not the slightest movement of air seen some temperatures predicted of about 27 degrees Celsius later today so I'm probably going to take a swim and uh, I've got a fairly small group it's just me and three ladies over there and here we go it's uh, just about seven o'clock now and there's Bay Rock. Um, last time I was here, the sand had been washed out, and there were rocks visible all the way to the to the to the uh, where the water is now. So it looks like we've got a lot of sand here today again. I don't know what will happen on the other side of the rocks uh, when we get to the other beaches. Um, if we've got a lot of sand on the beaches, it might be an easy walk. Seven o'clock, just past Bay Rock, and the water is relatively high still. So we're going to go over the top. And go. Looks like we've got a fair bit of junk lying around here today again. So we'll be doing some cleaning up on the way back, I guess. Yeah, it's a mess. Almost slip there. Oh yes, be careful, um, even though the rocks might be dry, if you've got sand under your shoes it might still be slippery. Yeah, but, uh, is relative. About five past seven, and here we have to do a little bit of scrambling. Shortly, there in front, we'll have to decide whether we want to go over the top 
or around the front. Okay, it's still not much later, just past seven, five past seven, and we've decided to go over the top. Um, around the front is over there through that gap, and then around the front of the rocks over there. Yeah, it's my club. Okay. Okay, this is the climb up. Just get some perspective. And here we are at the top. It's a fairly quick climb to the top. Climbing up is easier than climbing down, but then going down the front, it's a little bit longer, perhaps a little bit steeper, um, and a little bit smoother, and it looks like we have a lot of sand here today. It might be an easy hike. It's going to be a good one. And there's the safety cross again. In the first cave and girls coming along you guys doing okay right right all good take your time always maintain three points of contact There we go, looking good. Well done, excellent. Thank you. Okay, going down. Let's try to get this. Handhold and turn around. Say, so, yeah. Go for it. Full your pad for it. Go for it. Prepare it. It's up at the end, but it can stop us. Yeah. 
I'd say. Looking good. Just carry your food in. Trying to find a foothold is fairly tricky. Can you dive be an upstrike on it? That's a nice square and see flat. Come where you can't. You can see how you can turn it around. You can see how you can turn it around. You can see how you can turn it around. Alright. Maar dit gaan al hoe beter? Dit gaan beter. Zij komt voorbij, het gaat net weer doppen. Oké. Wat is looking good? Oké, we're down from the top. It's quarter past seven, and um, here's the boulder field. Trying to negotiate these boulders can be tricky. Um, you need strong ankles, you need to trust your feet and your legs. You need to know what you can and what you can't do. There's one round one. Amongst all these rugged rocks, there's one round one. Where would it come from? Yeah, it's about 25 past 7 and we've just completed our tour of the first cave. It's a fairly big cave, but um, it's not the biggest one along the shoreline. Sometimes this gully doesn't have the sand here and you have to scoot along the rocks. Um, but we've got a lot of sand here today. Kester can tell you that the previous times we, we went through here, there were rocks. These rocks over here were about man high. And you have to negotiate around them. And then you, you climb over here. Yeah, there are some oyster catchers. You zigzag over here, this is where you zigzag, you go over the top and then over there but you can scoot through here now or you can go around the front. I haven't walked around the front of these rocks like this in a long while. There's a lot of sand here today. And this is Happy Beach. Happy. Welcome to Happy Beach, it's the happiest little beach in the world. There's a cormorant it looks like. Let's see if I can get it on the video. There it goes, there it goes. It's about half past seven. And uh, this is the usual way. The alternative is of course to go over the top. Not the very top of there, just over the top of the rocks over here. There. Perhaps I should. 
should put my walking stick over my wrist again. There we go. So yeah, this, uh, this bit over here, quite bouldery and takes some negotiation with navigation. And careful, careful maneuvering. 25 to 8 and uh, just made it over the boulders now. We came around the top along the vegetation line, over the rocks, through this little gap over here. And uh, the last time I was here, we had a significant amount of water in this, in this gully. But now, once again, we have a whole lot of sand, which makes the hikes a little bit easier. Well, quite a lot easier, actually. Yeah, it's about quarter to eight and there's a wall of sand just to give you an idea of the sand where the level of the sand has been in the past over there let's see if i can get it on the video over there it's the top level of the sand and that's about today where i'm standing at the moment it's about middle a middle height for me my body length which is about i don't know less than a meter i guess but i've stood here that it's that it's man high that i can't see over the top so there's a lot of sand washed back in again but still not everything that has been here in the past apparently Uh, let me just get my bearings here quickly. Oh, there it is. That's high rock. We've passed it. I didn't even... I wanted to get it on the video, but then I walked past it. That's high rock with the cormorants on top. Let's see if I can point to it. That rock over there. It's the highest rock on the beach. In Afrikaans, it's called Hoekop. And then the wreck's coming up shortly. It's going on to five to eight, and we've just arrived at the at the wreck. Looks like uh, the sand's washed out a little bit more here at the wreck than along the, the beaches that we've come now. Um, last time it was easy to get on top when Carl and Hester and I were here. But I don't think it's going to be that easy to get on top today. Not that I've got that in mind, but just for reference. And it looks like there are still people having a holiday in that beach house in the shade over there don't know whether you can see it on the video uh, 
Um, usually the beach house is occupied during December uh, for the summer holiday. <coughs> but uh, it looks like the people have decided to extend their stay this time. Or perhaps it might be another group of people, I don't know. Let's see what we're getting here. Last time Carl and I crawled in here and you couldn't see the holes at the bottom there. It was filled up with sand. And now the water's washing through. Amazing. It's uh, going on to 7 o'clock and I haven't walked around the front of these rocks in almost forever. Usually we go through there. Uh, to the right there's the eye of the needle. I'll get it from the other side now. Incoming. Yeah, this works. But for the stop is for lunch. Yeah, there's a lot of sand here. Maybe half a bit too Come on, let's go look. Here, here, there's water. It might be inaccessible because of the water. Okay, I didn't even realize that. Or we could go around. No, it's open. Go around the back of the water. Let's get this. Yeah. Go around the back of the water and there through the eye of the needle. <coughs> I've camped at the caves once um, over December and there was a, a similar pool like this on the beach and that night after supper we went to do the dishes in the the waves and as we walked through the pool we had phosphorescence the whole place all over the place where we wherever you kicked up the water or kicked up the sand there was just this bright green yellowish kind of flash and it was amazing and we played around in, in the water for I don't know half an hour at least Okay, so usually we scoot along here. Come to this little hole over here and then we go across the top. But today we can go around the front. It's an entirely different perspective today. And I have never been here before. Over there. I've never walked here, never ever. Let's see what it looks like. You can actually walk on the sand. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. This is usually a big rock pool. Usually there's, there's a big rock pool over here. And now it's just sand, it's filled up. I can. Yeah, let's walk around. 
just waiting for the traffic and clear go usually where we're walking now it is at least two meters deep filled with water and we have to scoot along we come down through the gap over there and we come over here and there's a rock down here and we jump down on the rock and then we step over and we climb over here and then we climb over here it's amazing and this and there's a rock pool over here as well there's just a little bit of water left um, now it's full with sand and then over here at the back is what we call the jacuzzi Just get that make sure I get it all oops don't bump your head and there's a rock pool at the back over here as well see you can see well hopefully you can see the water dripping down from the back wall that drips into the pool at the bottom of there this is amazing completely different perspective well it'll be the first time i'm climbing into the oh wow oh wow look at the flow look at the rock flow that is astounding it's not exactly as smooth as it, as it looks it's sort of grainy underneath very fine grain underneath my finger let's turn down the light a little bit that's the second setting it's still perhaps very bright I did not know there was a rock flow over here Look at that. Uh, okay, wait. In a, don't bump your head. Uh, let's try to get some shadows on there. Yeah. Look at that. This is amazing. That's about it. Look at that. That's a nice shot. I like that. Footprints across the sand coming in. Just one set of footprints. Looks like the water's washing up. Fantastic. It's quarter past eight and we've just done the crawl space. Um, initially the ladies said they're not really keen to do this and now all three of them are on the other side. Uh, one of them said they wanted to stay behind, the other one said she'll stay with her and then the third one said well maybe she wouldn't do it and then she started doing it and she did it. And we're all here, and it's amazing. We've conquered our fears. Yeah, it's about 20 past eight. There's the wreck, and there's Cave Beach in the distance. It's 
it out of half past eight now. And we're coming up on one of the major landmarks along the way. This is known as Tortoise Rock or the Anvil. See that bulge over there? Uh, it looks like a tortoise head. And then the shell over the top. Okay. Will you be video of it? Okay, right. Right. That's a real good one. Yay. Okay, here's the name you need to say. Giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Excellent. It's about 22.9 and we're at the first big cave on the other side of the wreck and we've just discovered a bird's nest at the top. I'm going to try to, to get it on the video. Usually we walk just past here and we don't even notice. It's pretty much in the center of the light moment. Walk around this way. So we can get it. And I'm going to try to climb up. See if I can get a better angle on the camera. There's no grip. Very little grip. There we go. Let's see can I get that? Okay, it's about going on to 10 to 9 and uh, here's another cave it looks like we're not going to do a, a whole lot of cave crawling today um, so I'm just taking the just taking the front of the cave getting the front of the cave on the, on the video. Here we have the neighbors next door. Be careful stepping on these succulents because uh, if the the leaves get squashed, uh, they produce a gel or a jelly kind of substance and it's very smooth and very slippery. Tread carefully. Here we have the whack-a-mole holes. Still haven't found out what they are for or how they were made or where they come from. Looks 
looks like you can wait a minute i've got a light i can shine a light on the matter here This hole goes all the way through. And that one too. Another one. Alright. That was fun. It's about five past nine and this is the main bedroom, the biggest cave. Just give you some perspective. It goes in quite deep at the back. Okay, it's about half past nine. We've had a nice long sit on that little rock over there in a the chat and uh, look at the beach and the waves and the birds and now we're heading back ah, some oyster catchers one two three four five six seven eight nine oyster catchers one two three four six seven eight nine yes it's about uh, ten to ten and I thought I'd just get a, a quick video of this. It's not always that you see the water this low and the sand this high here on the cliff, just on the other side of the crawl space. And there's the wreck in the distance. Okay, it's uh, 5 to 10, we're going to do the crawl space, um, going back is a little bit more tricky and we're going to do it one at a time. Do you want to go forward or after you come? Um, I'll be on the start. Okay. Moet je op je mag niet? Moet je op je mag niet? Hou je voeten voor het is te af. Daar is hij, daar is hij. Alright, dan moet je hier in de voorbij zwaaien. 
great, fantastic, you hear it, this is amazing too. Ja, rally your foot on, there is a side, and then trap you a bit lower up. Nog een beetje laar, nog een beetje laar, nog een beetje laar, nog een beetje laar, nog een beetje laar. Daar is zij. Ja, ja, en dan zit je aan de voet langs je voet, aan de voet, zit je rechtervoet langs je linkervoet neer. Daar is zij, en dan trap je voorbij. Sit him langs jou linkervoet neer, sit jou rechtervoet langs jou linkervoet neer. En sê hy. Yes. Sê hy, meneer kopkap nie. Amper daar. Amper. As jy nou kan gaan sit, as jy nou kan gaan sit, daar is hy. Skop jou voete voor en toe, voor die randkie. Yes, go. Hierso, my voet is reeds hier. Net so'n bykie sak. En een bykie terug hierdie kant en na my toe. Wat nou, dit is gemak vir ons vandaan, maar die moet bykoor. Ja, die af. Ja. Oké, okay, krijg. En trap je daar af. Dat is hij. Mooi squat. Knap gedaan, wij zien. Oh, dan is het voor dat je. Mooi squat. Excellent. Mooi skoot, lekker dag verder. En dit is een little doggy. Kom, little doggy. Kom aan, boy. Yeah. 
10 and I've just had an epiphany not quite more like a revelation or a realization or a, a thought that popped into my head and uh, I think that in our modern society we are so focused on the immediate here and now the job that needs to get done the next deadline and we're so looking at our feet that we don't notice how far the horizon stretches and just walking along the beach here now and looking a little bit up from my usual gaze towards the horizon seeing the waves crashing in the distance there's a, a realization that or a I don't quite know how to phrase it but Suddenly there was a, a sense of relaxation that a sense of ease that that I'm not usually aware of. And that was just amazing. I know I say that word a lot, amazing, but that's amazing. Instead of that the whole time, such a limited perspective. Okay, yes, sometimes it's a good idea to just focus and get the job done and take one step at a time. But sometimes when the job is done, look up a bit, okay? Just remind yourself of where you are and where you've been and where you've come from and where you're going and, and who you are and who you are becoming oh very philosophical this morning aren't I Catcher. I hope I got that. Run little guy, run. 
go, 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 go. Half past ten, just for the record. Um, here's a little cave, but I've been here in the past that the sand has been washed out. There's a wall of sand here. The cave is still as big as it is, but there's a wall of sand here where the water has washed the sand away, and that sand wall is man high. And you can't really climb up here into the cave. So now all the sand has been washed back again and it's level into the cave and this is at the eastern end of Happy Beach. Exactly. It's about 25 to 11 and there's the first cave, Gesape de Kranz, the one with the white patch on top. And uh, for the first time in years, we just walked along the front and we came through the rocks over here and now we're taking the alternative route to the front. Um, have you done proper rock climbing before? Wall climbing? Oh, okay. Um, I've done some wall climbing in a, in a climbing gym and I'm a mathematician as well okay. and I find the correlation or the, the correspondence between a wall problem and a mathematical problem to be profound. It is the same yeah. thing. Yeah. You use the same kind of techniques, the same yeah. brain mechanisms to solve the problem. Yeah. It is yeah. highly recommendable. Sedgefield. Sedgefield. Yes. And these guys are No, we went over the top this morning. Yeah. Oh, okay. And these fields at night are like glass. Oh, like, yeah? You don't even see, you know, you don't think that it's full of water. So you yeah. walk, 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 and the next thing she's like, stop! Oh. And there's this huge big pool. Oh, yeah. Just incredible. Ah, there's a crab! There's a crab! Look at this crab. Woo! Okay, it saw me. It saw me. Oh, he's magnificent. He's huge. There it is. Uh, I it probably, is. I probably didn't get it on the video now. Let's see if we can get some underwater footage here. Okay, some underwater footage without going underwater. Oh, we need you. Yeah, over here.
Oop. Okay, not here, not here. I always take this part. It's like a psychological thing. It's not the part to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's going on to 11 and we've got one, two, three. This has got another three at six. Petra's got two and Lauren's got one. It's nine plastic bags full of junk that we picked up in the last 20 meters on the rock coming back to the main beach. It's not our trash, but it is our planet, and that's why. Here we go. Gilly, 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 gilly. Yeah. Okay, we got a jelly being attacked by snails. Look at them come. They're racing. Okay, Whoa, incoming, incoming. <laughs> okay, what happened to the snails? Where are the snails? Hello. Snails are all over, and the race begins again. Come on, guys. And up I get this. This guy over here has got his trunk stuck into the jellyfish, and he's sucking the whatever out of it. There's another little guy doing the same thing, and that's what they do. They stick their trunks into the jelly and they suck it dry. Incoming. Yeah. Long slurpees. <laughs> 